Hey, this is Nate from Spirit of Drift, and today I am showing off my gear. This is a 2022 Gibson Les Paul Custom, brand spanking new. Uh, just recently started working with Gibson, and it's been like a childhood dream come true. Uh, I always wondered if these guitars were really, uh, if they would live up to the hype, you know. I mean, it's like the most hyped up guitar of all time. And this is the first tour I've used one of these, and it's gonna be really hard for me to ever want to play another guitar. It's just like the holy grail. Um, and we tuned to drop B. Uh, it came set up in standard, and I really didn't even have to do anything. I just threw heavier strings on it, checked it out, and it's like, it's ready to go. And not a lot of guitars can do that. Um, it's perfect, man. Like it's a, just plays like a dream, exactly what I need. I am using the Ernie Ball Burley Slinkies, which are the newer ones, uh, 11 to 52, and the 18 Plane, which is a little skinnier than some of the heavier gauge strings. You know, we play a lot of solos, but we play a lot of super chunky down tune riffs, so it's the perfect combination. I was using the beefy Slinkies, but the, the third string was a little difficult. I use that string a lot and in a lot of solos and leads and stuff. This one's a little skinnier than the beefy slinkies and it's kind of one of those hybrid packs, you know, almost like a heavy bottom skinny top. Works perfect for what we do. My volume knobs are always all the way up. I don't really play with them that much. I have a volume pedal on my pedal board. Um, I use the bridge pickup for any distorted stuff with the exception of like one little lead I do, kind of psychedelic lead. It needs to sound a little more old school. Um, and I use a center for any clean stuff. Um, and sometimes, actually I'll, I'll even use the bridge for some of the clean stuff just so it pops through a little bit more. But all rhythm guitar right there. So this is an EVH 5153. So yeah, EVH clean channel with the EVH uh, distortion through an orange PPC 412 black. I wasn't sure if I wanted the black grill or the cream grill, but I think for us it's kind of like a vintage sort of classy look, you know? So that's my amp. And uh, I got all my settings zeroed out so nobody can totally steal them. Uh, I use this really just for the clean channel. Uh, just because the foot switch, it's like real spread out and I'm already kind of tap dancing. So on the pedal board, I use the EVH overdrive. It's kind of dumb to have like the amp and the amp overdrive on the pedal board, but I mean, I'm singing and playing, you know, complex riffs and like that EVH pedal board is about that big as opposed to just hopping right over here. You know? But yeah, it's this, from what I understand, is a second channel distortion. Um, and I just run it through the clean channel of that and it serves pretty much the same purpose as the second channel. I can even kind of get it sound like the third channel, which is the one that I like, like the super overdriven, you know, like death fucking drill. It just drills right through the mix, man. That's kind of clean channel in that. That's basically the purpose that serves. So kind of the brain of the whole operation is this Earthquakers pedal. This is a Swiss thing. It's basically uh, just like a channel switcher with a few little bells and whistles it's got a boost and stuff but so this top loop i use um these two pedals for our clean stuff and i'll kick this on every once in a while on the cleans um, and then this is sort of my rhythm channel right here this i use for solos and a couple of leads um like i was explaining with the amp you know that's that's my distortion right there that's it um, solos and then if I kick all of them on it's just like opening the gates of hell man it's just like psychedelic you'll hear it tonight it's it's fucking awesome it's like uh, it's sort of like if uh, the morbid angel like phased out lava shit was more of like a vintage type of thing you know but it's it's a lot of fun to play with I'm I'm very selective about engaging both channels at the same time, but when I do, it's like, you feel like you're gonna fall over, you know, it gives you vertigo and shit, it's cool. This here is a uh, TC Helicon mic mechanic, vocal pedal. I use it for echo, which is usually actually kind of right there. Reverb, use it on a club setting. I don't use it for pitch correction. I've thought about it and then I just, you know, there's a lot of people I admire that would be rolling in their graves if I use that pitch correction thing, so I don't do it. 
Um, this is my favorite reverb pedal of all time. I don't even really use it for delay. I usually set it right about like that. And it's just, you know, ghostly trails on everything. That's always on when I'm playing clean. The Dimension C is always on when I'm playing clean. That's the clean tone right there. And then like I said, if I want a little Waylon Jennings phase, throw on the MXR. It's the block logo, which is like way more apparent than the script logo, which is what I like. I like it to just be completely over the top. And uh, yeah, that's usually clean. But like I said, if I kick, kick the distortion on with this channel up here, it's just total chaos. Psychedelic, just sounds badass. Um, and this really, it, it's analog, so it adds a stain, uh, stage of gain. So I usually set it right about there, and that almost acts like a boost when the mix is set right there. Um, yeah, just use that for delay for solos. And every once in a while, I'll kick this boost on too. But um, this is like the most obvious boost I've ever heard in a pedal. Like if you set it right there, it's obvious. I don't. I think if you did that, you would just you know level the building. So I usually leave it just right about there. This is super handy. You know, I can kill it, it has a tuner out, and um, so I can just tune without having to, you know, uh, the audience hear it and everything, and I don't even have to kick the tuner on and off. Super handy feature of that. Um, and I do use it, there's a fade in, like Angus Young type thing at the beginning of one of our songs. It's called Right Into The Light. I use that to fade that in. Um, pretty good kill switch, you know, just roll back on your hip. And, uh, I think there's one other section in our song Astral Levitation where I use it for like psychedelic kind of swells. But it's super handy to have, you know, kill switch, swells, whatever, easy to tune between songs. Uh, and that's it, man. Pretty straightforward. So these are those uh, in tune guitar picks. Everybody's using those. That's my initials right there, NRG. Uh, 0.9, I want to say. Or 0.85, somewhere around there. I don't know about gauges and millimeters, man. I don't know about gear, you know? Uh, and then, yeah, Inky, man. These are the greatest cases ever made. You can fit two less balls in there. And uh, I love Bucky's, so I'll shout out Bucky's too. And uh, yeah, these are the greatest cases ever. They really helped us out and uh, make life a lot easier. That's it, man. Okay, cool, so check out Spirit of Drift. Um, at Spirit of Drift pretty much everywhere. We're on tour with Crowbar right now. Uh, we got more touring coming up later this year. Recording a new album later this year. More touring next year. Um, we've got a release coming out in a couple weeks. It's six covers and two original songs. That's on Century Media. And uh, yeah, we'll be working on the record for the rest of the year and touring. Check us out, spiritofdrift.com.